for some pretty awesome deals on new games, check out the G2A link in the description and use code SAINTS for a 3% discount. Hey, what's up guys, it is Saints fan and welcome back to another GTA 5 video. As you can tell from the title, what we're going to be doing in today's video is talking about the top 5 features that I want to see in the next update in GTA Online. And the reason I'm actually doing this video is because a good friend of mine, Mr. Boss for the Wind, I'm sure you guys know him, he actually did a video similar to this earlier today. And I watched it and I listened to it and I was like, you know what? I haven't done one of these types of videos in a while. So I figured I would give my opinions and my top five things that I want to see. Now, he had some really good points. If you guys didn't watch his video, I'll link it in the description. He talked about some really cool things like a Snap-O-Matic and apartment integration as well as some more free mode activities. But like I said, I wanted to do my sort of top five things that I want to see. And obviously you guys definitely let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I always hope that Rockstar sees these videos and whether or not they listen to what I have to say, you know, they at least see what you guys say in the comment section just to sort of get somewhat of an idea of like the community feedback. And that's basically what these videos are. I'm just trying to put this out there so maybe Rockstar sees in and you know Rockstar could, if they do like the idea, you know they could implement it in the game in the future. Now as always with these sort of top 5 wish lists, I, I am going to be somewhat realistic. I'm not going to say mansions or casino or you know new heist. I'm not going to do that because obviously that, that's not really that possible in the next update. Unless they have been working on them for a while, but that, that's a whole other story in and of itself. But getting into the top 5 wish list, coming in at number 5. This one, and Ross has said this too, but really everybody, I, at least I've talked to, wants this. Uh, either a fourth garage or a new garage with more spaces. Like, not just 10, maybe 15, maybe 20. Now, I know that might be a little bit too much. They would have to redo the garage. Look, maybe there's a there's the elevator. Maybe you can throw two stories. You know, that would make perfect sense, and it could look the exact same. I don't think people would really care if that was the case. And uh, obviously... With all these new DLCs coming out, I mean, you guys saw ill-gotten gains. There were so many vehicles, and I don't know about you guys, but I couldn't buy them all. And it's not because, uh, at least for me, I don't have the money in the game, but I don't have the room to put them. And I'm not going to replace some of the cars that I've had for so long, and especially the ones that have modded colors on. So a fourth garage or a newer garage, maybe they can keep it at three and we'll just have to upgrade. You know, I'm fine with that, but something to give us more room and, and more garage space because at the end of the day, if... If Rockstar do want people to buy their cars in the new DLCs, then you're going to have to have garage space to do that. Or they're going to have to have garage space to do that. So like I said, that's number five. That's just like the, the big obvious one. Now coming to number four, this one I actually saw in the comment section of one of my videos. One of you guys actually mentioned it. I forget the guy's name, but he, he was talking about sort of better passive mode or, or passive mode lobbies. And... As of right now, passive mode is really good. I mean, it still does have its flaws, but for the most part, it's a lot better than what it used to be. However, the one downside of playing in passive mode is that you can't shoot your gun at all. And it kind of sucks, especially if you go into a public lobby. And, you know, at least for me, whenever I go into public lobbies, nine out of 10 times, there's always those one or two people driving around, killing everybody, blowing everybody up. And it forces you to go in passive mode. And I know you can say, oh, just drive away and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, I think what would be even cooler is to have these passive mode lobbies where you're not in the passive mode but i just mean you can't kill other players like you can't blow up any other players but you can still use your guns and kill npcs and drive around and, and do everything normally but you just can't you can't blow up other people you can't kill other people and i think that would be a pretty cool alternative for people who don't enjoy the pvp aspect and just enjoy driving around having fun killing civilians messing around and all stuff and they don't need to worry about other people now i guess there's the argument you could just go in invite only and stuff but i thought it was an interesting change and in addition to that another thing i would personally like to see would be the inclusion of a sort of hardcore mode or at least something where you can turn or you can have a mode where you didn't have blips on the radar because that's one thing that i hate i hate looking at the map and seeing where everybody is i liked it so much better in red dead redemption if you guys have ever played that where now i can't remember exactly but if you were near somebody i think they showed up but if you weren't near them, you couldn't, they, you know, they didn't show up on the map. And it was, it was kind of cool because you didn't know what you were going to expect in the online. Like you could just run into somebody and there was voice proximity chat, which was really neat. And something like that, I've talked about it in the past. I, that would be really, really cool for me because it would, it would improve the gameplay. It wouldn't just be people going around killing everybody. You would actually be able to drive around. And if you saw somebody, you would actually be surprised instead of just looking at the mini map and knowing where they're at and, you know, if they're coming to kill you. So those two things, whether it's the passive mode or the hardcore sort of mode, I, I personally think that'd be a great addition to the game. Now, number three, this one, this one I think we've been saying for like, since the game came out, 
We need a better Pegasus system. The, the Pegasus system in the game is is really lackluster. Like it, it's such a pain because one half the time they don't deliver your they don't deliver your vehicles where you actually want them to, which which always is annoying. But two, I still I still don't think it's right that somebody could just steal your Pegasus vehicle. Like there's no way to lock your Pegasus vehicle. And I think that'd be something so simple to fix. You know, you can even have it like in the interaction menu, like Pegasus vehicle underneath like regular vehicle or personal vehicle. You can say Pegasus vehicle, and then you can switch between everybody getting in, crew members, friends, or or no one, you know? And I think a lot of people would use the Pegasus vehicles a lot more if that were the case, because that's really the only downside is that, you know, somebody could literally just steal your car or your Pegasus vehicle, and then you're screwed basically until it does blow up. Now coming at number two, this one was another good point mentioned by Ross in his video, and you know, I I have talked about this in the wild, but I've never really put it into one of these top five features or wish lists that I, I want to see happen, and that being clothing options in the game. You guys, obviously, Fashion Friday is like one of my most popular series. You guys love it. I love it, and it's something that's really, really cool to, to make outfits for your characters and dress them up. Obviously, that sounds really lame when you say it like that, but it's fun, right? And the one problem we always have is just the restrictions that Rockstar put on to the clothing options you can't have a hoodie with a hat you can't have your hoodie up you can't have a scarf with a hoodie like it's just i understand they're they're obviously they're glitches and stuff i've showed you guys them but why can't we just have that stuff why can't they just allow it i, I don't i i'm still waiting for an answer like once if they give me an answer i'll be perfectly fine i won't mention it again but you know, that, that's something you would think would be super simple to, to add to the game that I'm sure a lot of you guys watching would appreciate. But that's really the downside of some of these clothing outfits that we do. And, you know, it sucks because it looks awesome, but then you got to go through eight, you know, glitches or whatever to, to actually get it to work. And it sucks because some people don't want to go through all that stuff. They just want the outfit. And if Rockstar did sort of allow us to have the freedom to do what we wanted with the clothes, it would be a lot better. And then finally coming to number one, this one, you know, it I have been a huge advocate for for so long now, and I, I don't understand why they took him out in the first place. I'm sure, I'm hoping it wasn't intentional. I, I'm hoping that it was just something that happened, you know, when they were fixing another bug, but modded colors, and if you guys don't know what modded colors are, it, it's it sounds worse than what they are. They're not really modded. It's a crew color. You can go in the social club, put in a crew color, and then you put that crew color on top of a metallic or on top of a metal or on top of a matte. And you can get some really, really awesome colors as you guys see from some of the Touch Up Tuesday videos that I've done in the past. And this, it needs to come back. Yes, it's on PC. I understand that. But a lot of you guys don't play PC. Plus, even on PC, it's really complicated to do. And again, sort of with the clothing options, why can't we have the freedom? I, it blows my mind how, how complex and how stupid for lack of a better word the 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 system is with clothing and with the the modded or with the the paint job system so many people because they've told me would spend a ton of money on these colors if if they were available but they just they obviously aren't on a console on pc it's just it's really complicated to do and in turn that would obviously sell more shark cards because people would want or need more money to 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 buy and to to get these paint jobs and I just, I really don't understand, so that's why this is coming in at number one. If Rockstar could just take out the restriction of putting crew colors on top of metallics or metals or, or mats, so many people would be happy, including me, and I think that would be a, a real improvement to the game. So there you guys have my top five wish list for this next update. Hopefully some of these things happen. If not, you know, you know, it is what it is. But if you guys like anything I said in this video, definitely go ahead and drop this video a like because obviously the more people that see it, the more people know about it, which in turn means the more people might want it and might, you know, do something about it. Tweet at Rockstar, email them, whatever. So hopefully something happens, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Thank you guys for watching though. Again, thank you to Ross for making his video, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe so you don't miss any other GTA videos. And as always, it's your boy Saints fan. See you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.